welcome we're going to apply a gold material to the star we're going to select the reference image and hide it we're going to bevel the object to add more detail go to edit mode make sure you're on vertex mode select the entire star and make sure you're on x-ray toggle mode and reselect the whole star then we're going to press Control b to bevel With a single click, the bevel options will appear on the left hand side. Click on the small little arrow. So bevel is an effect that smooths out edges and corners. I'm going to click off X-ray mode. If you increase the width, it will create new edges. For segments, you're creating edges within the width. Go back to object mode and you can see that there's more definition and detail. Go to modifier properties, add modifier and select subdivision surface. This will smoothen out the object. If you click on this icon here, you'll see the difference. Next thing we're going to do is add a environment texture to the scene. Go to world properties. Go to color, environment texture. Go and open. And select the environment image. This image will be attached in the description below. If you click on this small little icon here, this is the render. So as you can see, the image is imported. We're gonna go back to the normal viewport. And we're gonna go to shading. Now, if you click on shading, this is the default setup, as you can see here. And we're gonna apply the gold texture using the nodes. going to go to metallic and we're going to increase that to 100 then we're going to go to specular and change that to 0 0.332 and change the roughness to 0 0.073 and as you can see now the star is a lot more reflective Now, if you hold shift A and type in color ramp and link the color to base color, the color ramp is used to adjust or change the color of the object by sliding the marker left to right. Select the white marker and I'm going to change this to orange. I'm going to add in a value. And then I'm going to click on the black marker and select a value as well, which will be yellow. And as you can see, it looks gold. We're going to add in a Musgrave texture. So shift A and type Musgrave and it should come up and link the height to the factor. Change the detail to 16 and change the lacunarity to 13.4. Press Shift A and search for mapping and link the vector to the Musgrave vector. 
Shift A and search Texture Coordinate and link the object to the vector. If you look closely, there's a small texture applied on top of the star. Next, go to Render Properties. Make sure Bloom is checked. Change the threshold to 10. Change knee to 1 and change the radius to 2.943. At the top right corner, click on the render icon. The reflections you see on the star comes from the environment image we imported into the scene. Click on the layout tab. Click on the render icon and we're gonna hide this image. So if you go to render properties, go to film and then click on transparent so that the image will not be visible when it is rendered out. The reflections projected on the star will still be visible. Hold shift A and we're gonna select a camera into the scene. Select the camera. And then if you hold the tilde key and go to view camera, you will be able to see the star from the camera view. Click on the small arrow, go to view and make sure two 3D cursor and camera to view is checked. This will lock onto the camera view so that you can make any adjustments. Anything displayed in the rectangle will be in the final render. If you want to come out of the camera view, uncheck these two boxes. Everything in the scene is set up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.